Hello all. In this video, we are going to learn how to make a hair dryer. I have been provided with a drawing for the hair dryer and there are two views provided to me. Considering this as the front view, this will be the left view following the third angle projection. Now, I also have a detailed view for this particular feature as you can see. To begin by making the model, I understood that there, this particular feature is a diametrical feature because there is a 40 diameter as well as a 30 diameter and the revolved body is only up to 180 degrees. Now, coming to the bottom part of the hair dryer, the curvature which is required to make this particular shape is not possible in solid modeling. Hence, we will be using surface modeling while making these kind of features. Now, to begin making the component, let us start by creating a new part, assigning its units and clicking on OK. Now, since we know that this is a revolved body and we are working on surfacing, I will start making the sketch using a revolve command and follow the dimensions exactly as per the drawing. Since all the dimensions are given from the 40 diametrical side, I will consider this as the reference and keep proceeding by making my arcs as well as the lines. Now, I have a line which is a 50 distance and 75 angle. Following this, I have an arc of R75 and 105 from the same reference. I also have another arc of 125 with uh, 175 from the reference and diameter 30. Since we are working on surfacing, the sketch is open. Once I click on OK, it will automatically change to a surface. Once I click on OK again, it generates a surface. But as you can see the left view, we do not want it to be 360 degrees. We just want it to be 180. So I will change this particular dimension to be 180 and then click on OK. This will create the 180 degree circular body. Now, with respect to this body, we would require to create this curvature. So to create this curvature, I would require three different lines. This is the first line. This is the second line. This is the third. So in between these three curves, I would like to create a surface so I can get the curvature whatever I have desired. So let me begin by taking the simple straight line, which is the first reference which uh, in the drawing. It's supposed to be vertical, height of 100 and the distance of 50. Now, to proceed with the next curve, it's a combination of lines as well as arcs. All the dimensions for this curve are given with respect to this reference. Hence, I'll be using this as the main reference to maintain 28, 33, 36 and the respective dimensions of the arc. I'm using the same plane as we have seen, I'm using this as a reference and creating a center line for my reference and I'm beginning beginning to make the sketch from this to this is supposed to be 28 they have also mentioned the height to be 15 distance from here to here to be 33 now from here there is a continuation of arcs of a certain dimension the dimension is actually 10 with a height of 25 which is the first one Now continuing there is another arc as well with the same dimension as you can see the equal constraint it means that this dimension as well as this dimension is the same which is 10 mm and the height for that is provided to be 40 so I will be mentioning this is 40 
we have another arc following this as you can see again i have the similar dimension and the distance from here to here is supposed to be 55 also given in the drawing now, there is also an other arc which goes from here to here again it has to maintain the same radii which is 10 mm and then it has to maintain 36 from the main reference whatever we have selected earlier this is my main reference from here to here it is supposed to maintain 36 now i will try to close this sketch over here and click on ok now i have got the front view but when i go into the left view i need to make the sketch here as well this is the same sketch as what we have done earlier so i can create a mirror of this sketch onto the plane to create a mirror i would require the same sketch or i would require a reference at 45 degrees so i can mirror it directly on onto the left side so in the same sketch what i'd like to do is i'd like to take a reference at the center point and add a datum point exactly at the midpoint using this point as a reference i can make a plane at 45 degrees first let us take an axis passing this through this point and maintaining perpendicular to that and create a plane passing through this axis and maintaining 45 degrees from here now the reason why i have taken that is to mirror this sketch the selected sketch onto the left side i need this plane to mirror it onto this side so when i try to mirror the same sketch will be created over here i'll try to show that to you select the sketch same mirror with respect to the 45 degree center now when i click on the left side you can see the same sketch being mirrored as we all know to create these kind of complicated complicate to create a surface in between these kind of complicated curves we'll be using a boundary blend command so select the boundary plane, click and hold control and give select these three, you will be creating a new surface. Now, we will start merging these two surfaces to generate whatever model which is in the drawing and keep whatever the portions we would like. As you can see, there are certain rounds given to the model. If you are interested, you can give them like I have 5 mm here and then probably 1 or 2 mm round here as well as here. Let me give this first maybe around 1 or 2 mm I think 2 mm will do now after that I have another round over here which is probably a 5 or 4 this will be a 5 you can add thickness to the model directly by selecting the model and giving thicken option now in the drawing they have said that the note is the thickness is 0.5 mm so I am giving this as 0.5 mm now uh, there is also another feature uh, which is the exhaust feature which we have just missed so I'll delete the thicken to create this feature I'd like to take a new plane at a particular distance make that sketch and project it on the surface let me show you one so you can practice the rest of them considering the race track we, we require a race track and it should be coincident on this the distance from here to here is supposed to be 15 that is from here to here is supposed to be 15 the length is 50 and this is 19.5 this is supposed to be 50 this is supposed to be 19.5 now i have a line which is at 1.5 mm The same thing can be repeated n number of times or you can actually use a offset command. If I use an offset command, you can just select the line, click on the offset command and then select the direction and give 1.5. The same thing can be repeated n number of times. You can join them later. There is no issue. I can actually create multiple lines this way. the last one and then exit the command you can use your lines to join them actually
you can mirror it as well if you're if you're uh, interested and you want to save some time mirror would be an easy option since i have started with offset i have just continued with the command so it does not break the now delete whatever you don't want to like i have an extension over here which i'd like to delete i have this portion which i'd like to delete and this one as well and this one this one this one this one following the same thing on this side all the dimensions are equal so it's nothing to worry about i'm just using this to project this on this i'm using this to project it on the surface select all the surface i've just selected one so i'll just let me select all the curves it projects onto the body let me hide this as well now if you want to trim these you can just select the surface first use the trim command and then select the curves same process continues for all the ones now you can still thicken the model so i want to do it 2.5 and say okay this is finally your solid model of the head drive please feel free to contact us if you have any queries you can also contact us on the number given in the description thank you so much